Hey guys, Andrew Edwards here, Editor-in-Chief of GearLive.com, and today I'm gonna be giving you a look at what might be the absolute best Wi-Fi system I've ever used here in my home. This is the Netgear Orbi, and if you're a techie, then you're probably familiar with the Netgear routers like the iconic Nighthawk series. But Orbi is something different. Rather than a single router, what you get here is two units, which Netgear says will work in unison to eliminate Wi-Fi dead spots inside the home. One is the main router and the other is a satellite which extends and expands your Wi-Fi network without signal degradation. Now you might remember me showing you another multi-node Wi-Fi router system a few months ago and I said in that video that I'd bring you a full review later, but I could just never get it working right. I had constant network dropouts, I couldn't even get support to help me out, and I pretty much almost threw in the towel on this whole multi-node Wi-Fi system trend that we're seeing happening right now. But then Netgear reached out and asked if I'd give the Orbi tri-band mesh system a try, and I figured I couldn't get into an even bigger Wi-Fi mess than I was already in, so I figured, why not? Big shout out, by the way, to Netgear for sending over the Orbi, sponsoring this video, and yes, slaying my Wi-Fi problems once and for all. Inside the box, you'll find the main router unit as well as the satellite unit, along with a two meter ethernet cable, two AC power adapters, and a quick start guide. Powering these guys are quad core 710 megahertz processors, 512 megabytes of RAM, four gigabytes of flash storage, and six high performance antennas with high powered amplifiers, which support implicit and explicit beamforming and multi-user MIMO for 802.11a, b, g, n, and ac connections. As for the ports, you get four gigabit ethernet ports on the satellite and three on the router with the fourth used to connect your internet connection. There's also a USB 2.0 port there as well. Now I live in a 2,400 square foot home and Netgear says that this two unit system should be enough to cover a home up to 4,000 square feet. So obviously that's 1,600 more square feet than what I have here and I expected if that was the case that they should perform very admirably. And thankfully they do. But if you live in a home with a lot of brick or maybe chicken wire in the walls, it might not get the same effect in your place as it does mine. But thankfully the Orbi system is built to be modular. So while one satellite is included in the standard box, you can actually add up to two more and each one gives you 2,000 more square feet of coverage. So if you add one more, that's 6,000 square feet. And if you add two more, that's 8,000 ridiculous square feet of Wi-Fi coverage, all from the Orbi Wi-Fi system. You're just not gonna find that anywhere else. And I should mention the way that these work is different from what you'd get from a Wi-Fi extender. Extenders use a single band of signal for sending and receiving your data and communicating with the main router. And the end result is that your speeds on that router can be cut by as much as 50%. With Orbi, these units have three bands. There's a five gigahertz and a 2.4 gigahertz band for your usage. And then a second five gigahertz band that's used just by the Orbi units to communicate with each other. What this means is that your Wi-Fi signal speeds will be just as good on the satellite as they would be when you're connected to the main unit. All my devices work great without me finding that I have to toggle Wi-Fi off and on to reconnect or reboot something, or me being left in a heap of blood and tears of frustration because everything worked for a few minutes and then all of a sudden, Wi-Fi dropped out in a certain room. Those days are now gone. The Netgear Orbi is very user-friendly as far as getting the whole thing set up. The main unit replaces your current Wi-Fi router, then the satellite just gets plugged into a wall to sync. The halo of light at the top blinks white while it establishes a connection. If it gets a strong connection, the halo light will turn blue. A weak connection means it'll turn amber. And if it fails to connect to the main unit at all, it'll turn magenta, which means you should move it closer to the main router. All in all, I'm super happy with the Netgear Orbi system. I've never gotten rock solid Wi-Fi in every corner of my home before, and I've tried just about every major router released over the past five years since that's what I do. The Netgear Orbi is the first one to give me fast Wi-Fi completely throughout my home in every single room. It sounds like a simple thing to say, but at the end of the day, the Orbi did what it promised to do, and for that alone, it makes it very easy for me to recommend. You can pick up the Netgear Orbi Wi-Fi system now for $399 for the two-pack. It's obviously priced at the high end, but for me, it's worth it due to the fact that my Wi-Fi troubles are now a thing of the past. Whether wired or wireless, all my devices get fast, stable connections without me having to fiddle with anything anymore, and that is a thing of beauty. But now, guys, I wanna hear from you. Tell me about the Wi-Fi problems you've had 
in the comments below and I'll meet you there for further discussion. Be sure to drop a like on this video if you enjoyed this one and don't forget to click or tap on my face here in the video in order to get subscribed to stay up to date on new video releases and gadget giveaways. We have a bunch of those coming here in the holiday season. Thanks so much for watching guys. As always, I appreciate your support. I'm Andrew Edwards and I'll catch you in the next video.